and to meditation. For this meditation, allow your back to be straight and the shoulders to be fully relaxed. You might try lifting them up towards the ears and letting them drop. It's fine to sit on the floor or on a chair, however you feel more comfortable. And place your hands in a comfortable position. Now when you feel ready, you may close your eyes or if you feel more comfortable, pick a spot on the floor to focus on. And if you're feeling tired, it might be better to keep your eyes a little bit open, just to let that small amount of light in and keep your focus. Now bring your focus onto your breathing, observing each in-breath and out-breath, without needing to change it in any way. You may find that your breathing is fast, and you may find that it's slow. You may even find that as you start to watch it, that it changes. But just be aware of this breath and be okay with simply watching it. And this may be with feeling the sensation of the breath moving in and out of the nostrils, or perhaps with the rise and fall of your chest or your abdomen. Just continue to observe your breath. And if you find your mind to wander, just acknowledge the thought or the distraction, and just bring your focus gently back to the breath. And as you sit here, as best you can, picture in your mind's eye the most beautiful mountain that you can imagine or that you've ever seen. Just holding the image and the feeling of this mountain in your mind's eye, letting it gradually come more into focus, observing its overall shape and the lofty peak high in the sky. A large base rooted in the rock of the Earth's crust, its steep or gently sloping sides. Just noticing how massive it is, how solid, how unmoving, both from afar and up close. Perhaps your mountain has snow at the top and trees on the lower slopes. Perhaps your mountain has one prominent peak or several peaks. Whatever the image of your mountain, just sitting and breathing with this mountain, observing it and noting its qualities. And when you feel ready to, see if you can bring the mountain into your own body, so that your body sitting here in the mountain in your mind's eye become one. So that as you sit here, you share in the massiveness and the stillness of the mountain. You become the mountain, rooted in the sitting posture. Your head becomes the lofty peak, supported by the rest of the body, and affording a panoramic view. Your shoulders and arms, the sides of the mountain. Your legs, the solid base, rooted to the chair or floor. Experiencing in your body a sense of uplift from deep within. With each breath as you continue sitting, becoming a little more of a breathing mountain, unwavering in your stillness. Completely what you are, beyond words and thought, centred and rooted and moving presence. Now as you sit here becoming aware of the fact that as the sun travels across the sky and the lights and colours are changing virtually every moment in the mountain's rocky stillness. Night falls day and day falls night. The canopy of stars, the moon and then the sun. Through it all the mountain just sits, experiencing change in each moment constantly changing, yet always just being itself. It remains still as the seasons flow into each other and the weather changes moment by moment and day by day. Calmness, abiding all change. In summer there is no snow on the mountain, except on the very peaks, or maybe in crags hidden from direct sunlight. In the autumn, the mountain may wear a coat of brilliant fire colours. In winter, a blanket of snow and ice. In any season, at times, it may find itself enshrouded in clouds or fog, or pelted by freezing rain. People may come and see the mountain, and comment on how beautiful it is, or how it's not a good day to see the mountain, and it's too cloudy or rainy or foggy or dark. None of this matters to the mountain, which remains its essential self. Clouds may come or go, tourists may like it or not. The mountain's magnificence or beauty is not changed one bit by whether people see it or not, or the weather, seen or unseen, in sun or clouds, hot or cold, 
day or night. It just sits, being itself. At times visited by violent storms, buffeted by snow and rains and winds of unthinkable strength, through it all the mountain sits. Spring comes and the birds sing in the trees once again. Leaves return, flowers bloom in the high meadows and on the slopes. Streams overflow with the melting snow. Through it all the mountain continues to sit, unmoved by the weather, by what happens on the surface, and by the world of appearances. And in the same way, as we sit in meditation, we can learn to experience the mountain. We can embody the same unwavering stillness and rootedness in the face of everything that changes in our own lives, over seconds, over hours, over years. In both our daily life and when we practice awareness, we experience constantly the changing nature of mind and body and of the outer world. We have our own periods of light and darkness, our moments of colour and our moments of drabness. We certainly experience storms of very intensity and the violence in the outer world and in our own mind and bodies. Buffeted by high winds, by cold and rain, we endure periods of darkness and pain, as well as the moments of joy and uplift. Even our appearance changes constantly, experiencing the weather of its own. By becoming the mountain in our meditation practice, we can link up with its strength and stability and adopt them for our own. We can use its energies to support our energy, to encounter each moment with mindfulness and clarity. It may help us to see that our thoughts and feelings, our preoccupations, our emotional storms and crises, even the things that happen to us are very much like the weather on the mountain. We tend to take it all personally, but its strongest character is impersonal. The weather of our own lives is not to be ignored or denied, it's to be encountered, felt and known for what it is and to be held in awareness. And in holding it in this way, we come to know a deeper silence and wisdom. Mountains have this to teach us, and much more, if we can come to listen. So if you find you relate in some way with the strength and stability of the mountain, it may be helpful to use it at times in your meditation practice, to remind you of what it means to sit mindfully with resolve and wakefulness and true stillness. And so in the time that remains, continuing to sustain the mountain on your own, in silence, moment by moment, until you feel ready to bring your focus back into the room.